this is only photography. It's only a discussion about tips and tricks and skills. And uh, uh, I'm not. The, I'm the last person that gives a damn about drama. I have a confession to make. Okay. After I uh, made a call out video on uh, someone uh, mentioning something about a camera, and by the way, I did not make that video, nor am I responsible for the comments that followed that video. Uh, this person said some vile things to me, and that's all perfectly fine. I can certainly handle it. But let me say that, uh, and this is no surprise to anybody, and everybody knows that I am not running a popularity contest. I have never once asked anybody to subscribe or click click the like it button below. Um, I've got about a basically right at 100% feedback on lenses that I recommend and uh, things that are like deals, like, oh my god, check out this deal, and tips and tricks. But I will say right up front that basically of the top 10 YouTube photography channels out there, that while the people that are running them may be decent, or I mean, I've never met any of them, and I don't want to meet any of them, that I, I, I don't respect them and the recommendations that they make. If anybody else uh, disagrees with that, that's perfectly fine. You know, it's a free world and a free society, okay? I'm not selling books like these people. I'm not selling workshops. I'm not selling gear like these people. I'm not hotlinking to like B&H Photo or some other camera store where I get kickbacks. Nobody's paying me. Nobody's sponsoring me. No, uh-uh. Um... I don't shoot as much as I used to. This is no doubt to anybody. I make a lot of videos. Maybe I make too many videos. Um, I did two gigs last week and uh, that I got paid for, two paid gigs. I haven't upset anybody on a gig that I got paid to do in 16 years. I know for 100% fact that real clients who leave feedback on, uh, on a Google or whatnot on some of these top 10 uh, working uh, photographers, you know they've uh, they've left us some you know really say like oh this 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 didn't work you know I, I didn't like the the results of this so all I have to do if someone is doing paying me to do a paid gig locally all am I responsible for is to do that I'm not responsible for anything else um, people that I actually respect not all of these people are on YouTube and there's just there's a whole string of them of course Steve Perry. This guy's a nature photographer. He's got a channel on YouTube. He crawls in the muck and the mud, and he's uh, you know he's out there risking his life with gigantic bears, and he does nature photography. There's a real guy. There's a real photographer. Ted Vieira. People are like, well, he doesn't have a billion subscribers. Like, so what? This guy is actually out there doing it. Uh, he's a normal dude doing the real thing. Um, Bill Gekas, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. He actually submitted some pictures on a photo contest like a month ago. This guy is internationally famous. Uh, I got an email from him yesterday. Um, just chat with the guy. This guy is a real photographer. You can type in his name on Google and take a look at his absolutely phenomenal images. Phenomenal, unbelievable, incredible images. Gekas said uh, he's uh, he's in Australia. I'm pretty yeah he is in Australia. Uh, G e k a s. A great, uh, great, awesome, incredible photographer. A lot of respect. Uh, Zach Arias, I think he stopped making YouTube videos basically because he's just too damn busy. I mean, that's pure speculation on my part. There's a, there's a real shooter. Uh, Dean Collins, he's dead now. There's a guy that I met a few times in photography school. Got a lot of respect for him. He's now dead of uh, cancer. Um, Darren Miles, he does um, um, uh, landscape. Uh, and um, Actually, he mostly does a lot of real estate photography, but he does everything. Weddings, so I mean, I can't speak for him. He's got a big studio now, I believe. Uh, a real guy. Doesn't make many videos because he's just too busy, you know, doing the do, as they say, right? Um, you know, uh, when people, when some of the top uh, YouTube photography channels say crazy stuff like light meters or throwback technology. Well, I'm sorry, but real professional photographers use light meters because they're incident meters and they can calculate lighting. I mean, when you say stupid stuff like that, then I know for a fact that you know nothing about photography. This is in reference to one of the top 10 YouTube photography channels. That's a huge clue. That's like a gigantic cancerous spot on someone's life. When someone says that, it's like, whoa, did you really just say that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um... On the website for one of the top YouTube uh, photography channels, um, it says, I've only been shooting, not me, this this other YouTube channel, it says, I've only been shooting since 1998. 
Well, let me see. I was repairing cameras and getting out of photography school like uh, 12 years prior to that. 12, 11 years prior to that. You know, <clears throat> it doesn't matter how long you've been shooting, obviously. Um, but uh, I'm sorry, you know, I, I have a confession. I just, uh, I, you know, not the person themselves, but I don't respect the advice that they give. Um, because they're always asking you to subscribe, or they're selling you books, or workshops, and everybody's got to feed their children, and that's understandable, all right? But I, I you know, I'm, there's no denying that I just uh, don't respect the advice that they give. I don't, you know? Maybe half or more of it might be generally correct, but I just don't respect it. Those are the people that I do respect, people that I know that are real people, that uh, have been doing the do, as they say, like Steve Perry, Ted Vieira, Bill Gekas, Zach Arias, Dean Collins. Dean Collins was a master. He was a true master. Um, his videos are out there. Like I said, I met him a few times in photography school. Really cool dude. A genuine master of photography. It's, it's unfortunate that he's gone now. And, you know, Darren Miles, you know, there's a whole string of people like that. You know, but they don't have the, you know, the really fancy uh, effects and, uh, you know, the intros and the fade outs and the super fancy backdrops and, uh, you know, they're, they don't have time for that. You know, they're, they're busy doing stuff. And uh, I'm going to be, as soon as I get off this microphone, I'm going out to shoot. So I'll be out the door here in about an hour uh, to go downtown and to go meet, meet somebody and uh, do some uh, photography. You know, because I don't just sit behind this desk and behind the computer, although it seems like that. Um, so, yeah, so that's my confession. Um, um, if it seems kind of harsh, then so be it. Honestly and truthfully, you know, while I may seem kind of gruff on the outside, one of the mottos that I've developed, and this is not always true, but it's generally true, is that I don't trust people that are sweet and sugary and kind on the outs. Like every video, they're like, hi, how are you doing? Hi, we love you. You know, I just don't trust people like that because I know right underneath the surface are like the rest of humanity. You know, I just don't trust people like that. And I've lived by that motto. That's probably one of my top five mottos. Number one motto is uh, nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. Another motto of mine that I created is to insult a fool is the praise of wisdom. Uh, you know, there, there are several like that, but one of the top five, and it's not a motto that I've developed, is that people that are sweet and sugary on the outside, uh, I just don't trust them. You know, if that's a personal flaw of mine, then I will confess to it. You know, I'm honest about it, you know. Nobody likes drama. Forget about the drama. This is, you're supposed to be helping people, okay? Um, have I been critical of nonsense and uh, twaddle? Oh, I sure have, you know. I've certainly got a lot of hate and ire for it, but uh, after 2,300 some videos, I mean, I could make every video talking about, you know, sugar lumps and uh, candy dumplings and uh, how to cook your uh, sweet rolls in the oven and I still get a pile of hate. It's like, well, you know, my grandmother cooks it that way, so you're a scumbag. You know, that's not how you cook. That's not how you cook sweet rolls in the oven. doesn't matter what you do. If you have enough videos up on YouTube, they're going to have a whole bunch of people that hate you and that's all fine, you know. Give logical advice, helpful advice, you know, um, be helpful and uh, try to find people deals. Uh, advice, tips, and tricks, everything else, it's all drama and lip-flapping nonsense. I mean, let's all agree on that one, right? That's all it is, just lip-flapping nonsense from any side, my side or anybody else's side, blah, blah, blah. And this is the problem with social media. He said, she said, oh, she said, he, no, who gives a damn? Get out of the house like I'm going to do here in about an hour and go take a bunch of photographs. Go hug your wife and kids, go do something important. <laughs> And everybody that thinks I've got a fake laugh, I have a crazy laugh, but it's not a fake laugh. Okay, sometimes it's a little strained, but it's not fake. <laughs> I do have a good sense of humor, so get out and take pictures. That's what I'm going to do after I clean my face up anyway. Bye.